Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. My name is Kevin Rosenblum. I'm the developer of Foot ID app. Uh, let's go ahead and get started from the beginning. We're going to go to the App Store and download Foot ID. So search for Foot ID up in the bar here, and it should come up right here. Here you go. Let's go ahead and download it. Depending on your internet speed, it could take a little bit of time. This seems to be cruising along pretty fast, so that's good. And um, let's open that up. Oh, potential spam. I'm going to go ahead and put this on airplane mode so no one bothers me. Okay, so right away here, there's a demo scan. You're going to have to click OK. Okay, great. So you can see me here. And um, Foot ID only works with the front-facing camera on the iPhone 10 or later models. It doesn't work with the camera on the back of the phone. The way that this works is like Face ID, what actually happens is a camera for um, infrared light is sensing the infrared light that's projected from one side of your speaker. So your face gets all this infrared light on it and then the camera senses it. So you have this fuzzy field right here. I'm going to hold really still and I'm going to push the tap to start button and I'm going to push it, wait one second and then stop it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to hold still and not move. Okay, great. Now I'm pinching with my fingers. You can see that you've got a nice contour. The f coloring is a little bit fuzzy and that's not a problem. We've actually reduced the resolution of the color because that's not really what's so important. What is important is the contour. Look at my forehead here. And you can see that I've got like a weird shaped, you know, unique anatomy tissue on my forehead. And that's what we're looking for uh, on the shape of the foot. And so this is a really good high quality scan. So I'm just gonna click the check mark and be done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up, um, which you're gonna have to do. Now this sign up with an email, you can do it with Google or with Apple. Um, I'm just gonna do a dummy email, test at kevinrootmedical.com. I'm actually gonna do test two, because I know we've used this, or test three, we've used this a few times. The password that you need to use needs to be at least six characters. I'm just going to do test, test, return, and then click sign up right here. Um, oh, you know what? It's probably because I'm on airplane. Let's click the airplane off and sign up. Yep, and there we go. I'm going to put it back on airplane mode so no one bothers me. So, welcome to Foot ID. Please start by creating a clinician profile. No problem. Let me go ahead and add the clinician. So I'm going to put myself as the clinician and my last name, my phone number. And if you're using the iPad, go ahead and put your business phone number in. The clinic name, this is if you have an existing account and you're ordering foot orthoses and AFOs with us already, just type in um, right now I'm at University Foot and Ankle Institute. Okay, that's where I am in Santa Monica here where I see patients um, part-time. And if you need to open up your account, you can click right here, opening your clinic account. And let me turn it off airplane again really quickly, you'll see. Let's refresh that. I'm gonna take it off the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is not so fast. And you can go through and fill out the secure account application. It takes a few minutes. Um, it's gonna ask for your tax ID and it's gonna ask for your so, um, credit card number, which uh, we don't charge anything, but we keep it uh, securely on file uh, to run your statement at the end of each month. Uh, I'm gonna click done up here. And then this is the clinic email. So this, let's put test three at Kevin rootmedical.com. This email is going to be used to manage your orders. I recommend using a back office email if you have a large clinic where multiple assistants can log in and manage orders. From the email, you can submit orders by clicking hot links. Um, you can also just you know review what's been done. Considering you're using your phone, it could be your personal phone, or you may want to buy a phone dedicated to scanning your patients. Um, we've done that for some clinics where you have a phone that is uh, unlocked and not associated with any cell phone plan. Uh, it's a really nice uh, way rather than having an iPad scanner. 
I'm gonna click off of this field. I'm gonna add this uh, clinician here. Now, let's go right into a new foot ID, okay? So what this is, is gonna add a patient. So I'm gonna call this patient test, test, date of birth, just to identify the patient. And then I'm gonna tap add scan. And you have the type of scan to add. So we, let's start with a right foot orthoses, okay? And now I'm just gonna use this Purell bottle, for example. I'm gonna put it on my chair here. Um, let's actually lift this chair up. Now, take a look here. There's a bounding box size, 0.4 meters. I'm gonna swipe this over to 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and one meter. For the foot orthoses, 0.4 meters is plenty good. I'm gonna use, um, now the Purell may not be the best thing. I'm actually gonna use this Kleenex box because the Purell is clear, but this more represents what a foot would be like to scan the foot. So I'm just gonna put the Kleenex box and set this up. Okay, like this. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this around, okay, like this. And I'm actually looking down. You can see I'm looking down um, over onto the top of the scan. I've got the Kleenex box, not where it's, um, see how it's in the shadows now? I'm about two feet away. And now as I get to under two feet, it is cut in color. And as I get really, really close, then it turns into the shadow again. So you wanna be about 12, the ideal position is about 18 to 20 inches away from your patient's foot. Now, you can um, use the button that's down in the bottom here to start and stop the scan. You can also use the volume button on the side of your phone to start and stop the scan. So I'm looking down on the phone and I've got this within the uh, blue bounding box here. This is just kind of a guide for you to keep what you're looking at in the, in the center of the screen. And I'm gonna start with the uh, volume button. Okay, good. And now it's starting to scan. I'm gonna just move it around. And if you notice, um, it flashes red like that. It just means to slow down, wait for it to get a nice um, image. I'm gonna go ahead and come back over to the other side of the Kleenex box. Okay, great. I'm actually gonna go up on top as well. Okay, good. Let's stop that. Now, I can zoom in with my fingers and I can inspect the contour of the Kleenex box that we have. And that looks really nice. I've got a little hole here, that's not the end of the world. Um, but in general, we've got a really nice high quality scan. The coloring's a little off, but what's important is the corners and the shape of this box are really, really accurate. So that's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save and add a form. Actually, you know what? Let's save and scan again. So now we're going to do the left orthotic. Let's just do my face really quick right here. So I will do a quick one on my face. I'm going to move it really quickly. I'm going to hold still. Okay, great. So I moved over to this side over here. And I was able to get the nice contour. Again, try not to be so worried about the color. It's actually a, a, the contour of what we're looking for, the shape. And if you just look at my forehead and my nose, you can see it's a really nice shape, okay? So um, inspect your scans of your patient's feet and the way that you wanna hold them. And um, let's go ahead and save this and add a form. Now, so here I have my form that I've printed out and I filled out what I want. I've got my patient's name on it. Um, all the information, their height, weight, shoe size. I've got um, the clinic and my name, my email, so we can contact you, the device I want checked off. This is a two-page form that we have. This is our big uh, advanced foot orthosis order form. I've uh, selected off some four-degree rear foot posts, and I've got some navicular button outs here. I'm just going to go ahead and scan the first page. So I'm going to lift it up, and this is kind of familiar to anybody who's scanned for a check before. So you want to get everything boxed in. I'm going to try and get it all in there. Let's see if I can get this and take a picture of it. And that's perfect. And everything came in and that looks good. Let's um, add another form here. It takes me right to the patient page, which is what this is. The plus that is blue, I'm gonna hit the plus again and I'm gonna scan the second form right here. Okay, so take that. That didn't get everything, so I'm gonna redo that. Perfect, that looks good. Now let's go ahead and look at the first form. I'm gonna click on it. 
I'm gonna make sure that I got it. You know what? It didn't look good. So let's actually dismiss this. This first one, I'm gonna delete it, the first page. And let's do one more form. Okay, this looks better. That looks great. Let me take a look at this. Perfect. So this looks good. I'm gonna dismiss this. Let's look at this first one. Perfect, so our operators will get these and be able to understand what it is. We've got the scans here, so let's take a look at the scans. This is the second scan we did, and you can see this is in monochrome, it's not in color, and that's because when we're reviewing it, it's faster to process and upload, but you can see the accuracy where every couple of millimeters, we've got a little XYZ coordinate, okay? So that looks really good. I'm gonna dismiss that. Let's take a look at the second scan. This is the Kleenex box, okay, and that looks really good too. All right, so dismiss that. Now we're really ready to upload. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the upload button. I'm gonna select the clinician. And there's two options here. One is to save data to the cloud. I'm not gonna do that just yet. The other one is to submit order to lab. I wanna, in this case, save the data to the cloud. Now what that's doing is taking all the data off your phone and putting it into the server. The email that you used is gonna get an email, test3 at kevinrootmedical.com, is gonna get an email that says you've saved this order. <clears throat> and it's pending. You can go at any time, let's say you have to check insurance benefits, and once you have approval, go to your email and submit from the email that it's okay. You're gonna get the patient's name in your email, and anyone in your staff can now manage the order from the email. You can also go ahead here and go to manage patients from the menu bar, Here's the one that says last modified, the date and the timestamp. I'm gonna click this on. I just wanna go back here and show you one other cool feature. Um, it's 159 right now, and we just modified it. Mm, let's just wait, because it does update the timestamp. Uh, we'll wait till it, it, the minute rolls over. Um, I'm gonna add uh, one more form, for example. You can add up to 10 forms, by the way. Let's just do one that's blank. Or let's say you wanted to draw a picture of a foot and you know, mark something. And you can communicate anything this way. Scan that form. That looks great. Okay, now we're at two o'clock. So I'm gonna go back here. Now you can see that the last modified on the patient screen is at two o'clock. So the other thing that you can do is organize. When you have hundreds of patients, you can organize them by last modified up and down. You can do it by last name. You can also do a batch delete and you select all the ones you want to delete, and you can delete all the information off of your phone. So that's what this is all about. Let me go ahead and go back to Manage Patients. I wanted to show you how you can go ahead and upload this order. You know what? Let's add some, before I do that, let's add some photos. So I'm gonna take some photos. I'm gonna go ahead and spin the phone around like this, take a photo, and let's do other. And I'm gonna take a video. Add a video, access the microphone, yes, flip it around. Take it, hey, how you doing, everything's good, great. Take it, hey, how you doing, everything's and then it's good, great. Play it back for you. Take it, okay. hey, how you doing, everything's good. You can take up to 30 great. seconds. Take okay. it, hey, how you seconds. doing, everything's good. Um, you can go back into photos and review your photos. Let's delete that. Okay, now we're gonna upload this, select the clinician again, and then we're gonna submit the order to the lab. And you can navigate away, that's not a problem. And then you can go back to the app. Tip of compliance, you're gonna to have to enter in your uh, passcode to your phone, and you're gonna get a confirmation that the order's been submitted. You'll get another email that confirming that the order's now been submitted. Now, you can, every time you go to this patient and you wanna do an update or submit another order, it's gonna basically, um, you know, it looks like here we have the last modif uh, modified at 12.01 p.m. It will basically be like a fresh cast every time you want to submit it. So if you want to upload this again, you can just continue to upload this with changes, new scans, new order forms if patients come in over and over and over again or things need to change. Um, I'm going to manage this and I'm going to delete it. Again, there's a couple different ways to delete actually. The first way I showed you, which is to batch delete, you can select all of them if you want. Let's cancel that. The other way to do it is I'm going to hold this, I'm gonna slide it to the left. You're gonna see the red trash come up. Once you do that, then you're gonna have this pop up and it's gonna say, are you sure all data associated with the patient will be permanently deleted? I'm just gonna go ahead and click yes. 
and now we have no patience. So um, I hope you guys have a good time playing with this. This is a really fun um, app. It's very impressive for patients. If you need any support, give us uh, an email at hello at kevinrootmedical.com, or you can call us 877-SOS-FEET, 877-767-3338. My name is Kevin. Thanks for watching.